And for more on the next steps for the stock, let's bring in Richard Safran, senior analyst at Seaport Research Partners. Richard, bring us up to speed. How do you rate the shares right now? And what would be the most bullish thing the company could do to make you and investors excited again? Um, well, good afternoon. Um, so I still rank the uh, I still rank Boeing uh, a very enthusiastic buy right now. I think that there were two catalysts that investors were waiting for uh, the equity raise, uh, of course, and an end to the strike. Now, we haven't had an end to the strike, but of course, as you uh, just mentioned a moment ago, uh, we did have the uh, uh, the charges taken uh, already um, right now. Um, I, I think the main thing that Boeing could do to answer you right now um, to get even more investors um, in, interested is show some tangible results on the plan that you just discussed. Um, show how um, um, they're going to um, um, rebalance the culture there, um, uh, get more definitive on how they're going to stabilize the business, come out specifically talk about um, how much equity they, they're going to raise, et cetera. And most importantly, have a couple of quarters under their belt where you see solid execution. How long are you going to have to wait for this stock to turn around as you expect it to? Well, th th there's an old phrase in, in aerospace and defense that says, Nothing in aerospace and defense moves quickly except the product. And mm -hmm. in, in, my, in my view right now, to answer you, I, I think that what we're looking at is 2025 as a transition year, mm -hmm. uh, the latter part of 2025. So obviously, we have to have an end to the strike, um, et cetera. And I think 2025 is a, is a transition year where we get more clarity on the points I've just made, um, including some solid execution. So it, in answer to you, and I think where you were going here, um, I, I think once investors get far better visibility into what 2026 looks like, um, in addition to 2025, um, and I think that's going to happen in the latter part of 2025, uh, I think that's about the time frame you're, you're looking at here. So, Remember, it's always about expectations, and what you're looking for is better visibility. Quick final question. If I buy your thesis that this is, this is a strong buy and there's going to – be a, a transition year and then maybe a, a, a year of clarity and comeback in 26. Are you expecting that there will be better points of entry if I am in, inclined to go along with your thesis and say this is a stock I want to own? Or is this the point where I might buy it? I, I think this is the point where you might buy it. And, and the reason is, is I think a great amount of bad news is already in the stock. Now, the risk, of course, is that there's another execution issue. Right. But if I know Kelly Ortberg, right, um, he's the 800-pound in Gorilla in the, in the room, and I, and I just think, you know, that's, that's, um, that's far less likely to happen than, mm -hmm. than, than we've seen before. So I think that, you know, if you say, like, you know, um, the equity raise is in, mm -hmm. um, we have an end to the strike, um, execution improves, et cetera, I think you have a good case for the bad news being in the stock. All right. Richard, thank you so much. Richard Safran, we appreciate it.